Hello, this is a special deep dive into salary benchmarking for senior executives in growing companies. The focus here is to provide you with a deep dive into about 10 issues which we think will be very useful for you. And the first here is salary benchmarking. To use which, uh, it's a word which is thrown around. Let's look at what it actually means. Salary benchmarking allows a company to compare their current salary offering with industry norms by looking at how comparable companies pay roles with similar levels of responsibility, workload, scale, span of control and complexity. The comparable companies are typically identified based on size, looking at revenue, market capitalization, sector, location, whether they're listed or not listed, and their growth. A basket of broadly similar companies forms what we call a peer group that's looking to recruit and retain individuals with the same talent, skills and capabilities. However, it's worth noting that salary benchmarking is always looking backwards. This is inevitable given the available data that's published or made available privately from the past. This means that you, as a consumer of market benchmark data, are typically looking at the picture from at least a year ago and then comparing this with current pay data. The latest disclosed data from annual reports typically lags by about six to nine months, for example. That's why we suggest to our clients that they benchmark salaries based on organisations' future positioning using a 12-month forecast. This allows them to stay ahead of the data lag and provide competitive salaries for work to date and in the next 12 months. We provide the latest salary benchmarking data available for FTSE small cap and FTSE AIM companies. This is data which is sourced from the eReward database that we use and various other proprietary databases in our library. And here's an example of what we uh, no. Median salaries increased for chief executives in 2023 in FTSE small cap companies by 3.4%. The median base salary for chief executives in FTSE small cap companies was £459,000. Just as a reminder, what does median mean? It is the, if you imagine a hundred Roman soldiers from smallest to largest, the median would be the middle Roman soldier, the one who is basically the, the middle height. That means that when you look at the upper quartile or the lower quartile, you have dropped off some of the more extremes. So for example, if you're looking at compensation amongst a group of peers, there may be one or two that are very well paid and those that are very unusually lowly paid, and those are excluded because the median will show uh, broadly where we are in the middle. For FTSE AIM 100 CEOs this was a lower increase of 3% but the base salary is £349,000. For those companies that have released their 2023 salaries they've stated that salary increases for executives will be below the wider workforce, which typically ranges from, ranges from 3% to 4.8%. Investors in the UK have begun to take a toughening stance regarding large increases to executive pay, given the absolute impact of such increases on costs and the wider workforce. Whilst offering competitive salaries is important in retaining and attracting the right talent, it isn't the biggest piece of the pie, which will ultimately pull or push people in and out of organisations. The largest slice, slice comes in the form of variable pay, short and long-term incentives. We discussed the importance of variable pay in our article entitled Performance-Based Remuneration, which is a bit later. Thank you for listening.